is going to be my first camping slash hiking video on YouTube. It's something that's always intrigued me. I'm talking about photography and videography and stuff. All the YouTubers that I follow, I want to thank you for giving me inspiration to do this. It's a good way to remember your hikes, I guess. And it always helps me to watch other people do stuff in certain areas because it lets me know it's a cool area. I'm on Little Devil's Tower Trail. It's Veterans Day 2016. So, figured I would come enjoy my time in the outdoors since the weather's nice. trail is three miles long round trip so it's I guess approximately 1.5 each way so it's a good beginner hike I chose this one for the day because I had to drive to get here about three hours and it's late in the evening too so it's 4:30 mountain time sun sets early now but you can't complain about the weather mid-November.
Well, I just had my first mishap with the camera. I hit it with my pack when I walked by. And of course, it scratched the lens. I don't know if you can tell on the uh, lens or not, or on the video, but sometimes at certain angles you can see the scratch. So sorry about that. As you can see, the sun's starting to set, or it's getting darker fast. I'm gonna try to make up some ground and get to the top. See you there. All right, I just made it up to the top of the mountain range. I'm not, not on top of uh, Devil's Tower. I think, uh, I think either that's Devil's Tower, it's out of focus, but, or that's Devil's Tower, which is, I think it's this one. But I'm not completely sure. I'm gonna follow the trailhead tomorrow. The rest of it, that is. Um, but this is a nice view. Be nice to wake up to these pines right beside me, little baby pines. And um, let's set up camp or something. Sunset already behind me. Maybe I can get the sun rising tomorrow. View. I don't know how well you can tell in here, but it gets pretty strenuous at the uh, towards the towards the end of this hike. Obviously, because you're going up at, more at the end. But I'm gonna get the tent up while there's still a little bit of light left. I just got in my tent. Gonna read my book for a little bit, relax, and then I'm gonna cook some dinner. Temperatures are dropping. My hands are freezing. But it's not too bad in my tent, away from the wind. I love this little thing here. If you have a tent, go camping a lot, you gotta get one of these. Little LED lantern. Uh, I think it's black diamond. I think is what it is. It's awesome. But I'm in my Kelty tent tonight. Two man. I've been wanting a new one, a one man tent, just to make lighter and have more room in my backpack. But they are expensive. Now I'm gonna have to think about buying a new lens because I scratched this one the crap now. Anyway, see you in a little bit. Starting to boil the water. I'm doing it right outside the tent in the vestibule. Probably not the safest thing to do. I just don't want to leave the tent. I'm so cold. But I'm uh, cooking the classic ramen noodles. <laughs> I just grabbed whatever was in my house. I didn't feel like going to the store and spending money. Um, I got two packs of that. It's just overnight, so I don't eat much. I might eat them both, but 
My wife got me this. It's um, Bad River Beef Jerky. I guess it's from Fort Pier, I'm guessing, since it's Bad River. Yeah, it says Fort Pier, South Dakota. It's a cherry walnut flavor. Try that later. Or maybe tomorrow for breakfast. Um, if you're in the area, go to Hill City and get lunch at the Alpine Lodge. It's very, very good. The, um, the barbecue steak salad. Highly recommend that. I haven't had anything else. I think my wife had a chicken sandwich there. She said that was good too, but man, that barbecue steak was delicious. Making me hungry, think about it. Going through some of my gear here. I got a, um, just a Thermalite or Thermarest Trail Scout regular. This is the size regular, but it's a Scout model, Thermarest. It's just supposed to be a lighter model. Um, I also have the uh, Thermarest yellow pad. I can't remember what it's called, but it's just the uh, accordion style pad. I brought extra just so, because I knew it was going to be kind of rocky up here. Um, put some ramen noodles in here real quick. My sleeping bag is Mountain Hardware Ratio and it's it's uh it's rated for 15 degrees so this thing should be very good tonight. Um I wish I'd brought a, a beanie or something. But I should be alright. I think I'll be alright if I zip myself up in the hood part. Uh, what else? My my backpack is an REI 70 liter. It's one of the older models. They got way better ones now. But I, I like it. It's not the lightest in the world, but it's got a titanium frame. Um, I can review it if anybody wants me to later. But it's a, uh, I'm trying to find a, a Crest Trail 70 is what it's called. I got it a, probably four years ago, probably. Um, so, I mean, they got better models now. Let me show you these hiking boots. Recommend these. I love these things. Oboes. Man, these are comfy recommend oboes there's there's a bunch of good hiking boots out there but I like Merrill's too but I like oboes a lot I like those oboes but I'm gonna wait for this food to finish Well guys, it's 8 o'clock central time, I'm going to read my book, probably go to bed within the hour, hopefully get up, get some pictures of the sunrise, hope you enjoyed it so far, see you in the morning.
Y'all have a good day.